Hey Megan Scully and this is the Limerick Post Show. As you can see we're here in Mother Max and I'm joined by Mike. I have to say I'm probably the envy of a lot of people right now because I'm actually sitting inside in a pub. I know but there's no drink. Absolutely not. No, there isn't. And that, I suppose, is what we're here to talk about. Um, the pubs did not reopen in phase four on Taoiseach Michal Martin announced that he'll be reviewing this again in a couple of weeks. Can you just talk to us about being a pub owner, how detrimental it is and how it's been the last couple of weeks? Um, I, I, well, I think let's go back to the beginning. I mean, we, we closed our doors on the 15th of, all, or 15th of um, March uh, because there was a, was a concern over the health and, well, health and well-being of the, the people of Limerick and people of Ireland. Uh, if we were asked to do it again, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, because, I mean, we are members of the community here as well, you know, and, you know, we live in the community. I mean, we, myself and James, um, who grew up in the community here, I mean, we're in the same parish we grew up, you know, so that the pub is very much in, in our being and in our community. Um, it's been a hard five months. Um, it's been a long five months. And really, I suppose there's, there's probably three factors to it. Number one, the financial factor of it. I mean, we, we haven't re we've received very little support as a business, Personally, yes, um, the PUP and the TWSS, we have, we've received payments, but the business itself has not received a lot, mm -hmm. um, very very small in what's coming in, and the fact that we have been unable to trade. So, I mean, our license has basically been, I'm going to say revoked, even yeah. though it still exists, but it has been revoked. Um, the second thing is, I mean, the social side of it, I mean, mm -hmm. we are very social beings, right? And our staff are very social people as well. So, you remove that from it. I mean, and you, you take... You know, come in here on any evening of the week, any day of the week, there's always someone at the counter, there's always a bit of chat and banter going on. And that, that is certainly missed, right? We, we miss it, wholeheartedly miss it. Um, and I know our customers miss it. We're, we're doing Zoom calls, mm -hmm. we're doing Google Meet, we're doing all this kind of mad stuff at the moment so just to try and keep things, keep things going. And then I suppose the, the, the third thing is, it's not what we have been asked to do, i.e. close, but it's how that message has been delivered to us. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't mind... Give us a direct answer. Give us a, ask us a direct question and we, we, we'll stand up and we'll be counted as publicans. But, you know, don't drag it out and don't talk about us behind closed doors. You know, in, in, the, in the lead up to any of, any of the decisions that have been made in the days prior to it, we're, we're, getting, we're hearing the news, we're hearing on the media, we're, we're, we're getting feedback, but no one is talking to us. Um, and it makes it exceptionally difficult for us, number one, to plan, yeah. but number two, for our staff. You know, who are sitting at home right now, and I mean, some of them are, you know, they're, they're quite happy to, to, to receive that payment, but they're mad to come back to work, you know. And it's it's really, really difficult for them because they don't know what's happening, yeah. and they're building themselves up to come back, and then they're being let down again. And it's like a, it's like an emotional roller coaster. It's, it's, it's really, really difficult. And then as well, I suppose, another thing is half the pubs in Ireland are open at the mo moment because they're serving some form of food costing nine euro at least. Um, so that must be tough as well to see other people trading like that and then knowing that you've got such great space here, but just because there's no food, you can't open your doors. Um, you know what, we, we've, we've always had a philosophy here, we focus on ourselves and not anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, I mean, if, if people can open the door and they can do what they're doing, let them off. I, I, have, I have absolutely no, no problem with that. I wish them the best. We just can't do it here ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we're not the only pub. I mean, there's, there's quite a number of pubs up and down the country. I mean, there's, there's 3,500 to 4,000 pubs involved that can't actually open because we're not food houses. We're not yeah. certified by the HSC. We don't have, I suppose, it's, it's not our thing. Mm -hmm. It's not what we do. Um, we're not good at it. Um, and, and I suppose we never really want to do something we're not good at. Yeah. You know, we, we're good at serving beer, we're good at running a public house, we're good at, at all the entertainment that goes with it, right, and all the characters. You know, dishing up a pizza for nine euros or, or, or a substantial meal, that's not really, really not our thing. Um, one thing, though, you did do, and I suppose you adapted to, and I've seen it, especially across social media, has been the, the growlers. So yeah. can you tell us about that and how that's been going? Well, we, we, if the truth be told, we, we begin by, by actually having counselling sessions at the side of the pub, um, which with our customers who we haven't seen in a while were kind of passing and, and having a chat. And, and it was more of a mental health thing for us, um, that we were getting to connect back with the guys and the community and the girls and all that good stuff. Um, and I suppose as one of the, 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 the leading craft beer uh, bars in the country, we support quite a lot of uh, indigenous breweries here. Um, like Treaty City being the local one. I mean, but then you're going outside to Kilmaley in, in County Clare, which would, which would be Western Herd. We go down as far as Mitchellstown, we have eight degrees. You know, you go across, then you have, you have White Gypsy in, in Temple Moor, right? And there's, there's probably there's, there's 60 others. Um, all of these would have a staff similar in size to ourselves. Mm. 
Um, all of these will predominantly be family run, family operated. Um, and all of these are feeling the pinch the exact same as we're feeling. Because if, if pubs are closed, they're not, sort of, they're not selling beer. If they're not selling beer, they're not making money. So we, we kind of looked at it and we said, you know, we can't just sit in our backsides. We have to kind of do something. We have to be a little bit innovative. Um, I suppose we've gotten known for being a little bit of innovative at times. Um, so, yeah, growlers, the idea of growlers was, was always on our mind, but it's something that we brought forward a little bit quicker. Um, so a growler basically is a, is a vessel that holds beer. Um, it can a lot of beer. It can be any size, big or small. You know, um, so the, one, the ones we've gone with, are, it's, a, it's a heavy glass swing top growler. It's a one litre growler, it holds one litre of beer. Um, and the idea, the idea of it being is that you can get fresh draft beer here, take it home and you can have the experience of a very good quality beer in your own house without actually having to be at the bar. It's brilliant. I think it's great ways you said there to kind of get people socialising because I've seen it all over social media. Everyone's sharing their growlers and yeah. I said you're getting people kind of to work again and I think the most important thing with all of this is the social mental health aspect of coming in and chatting to the staff and chatting to yeah. everyone that's here and I think, you know, pubs have created that community and hopefully now, I know there was um, reports this morning that the Vintners Association are saying they reckon they won't be open again in two or three weeks but do you know when the next announcement is going to come? Well, I suppose the, the next the next announcement will be the, the decision. So they're not actually... we Up until now, we've been given glimmers of hope, i.e. the pub will open on a such, such a date. The last announcement basically said there is no new date, but we will revise it. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's no glimmer of hope there. Um, it, look, this is a very, very serious pandemic that we're in. Mm. Um, as, as I said earlier, we are members of the community here as much as anyone else. We don't want to do anything that would in, in any way hurt ourselves, our staff, our customers, our families, right? Because a lot of our customers are, are our friends and families as well. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's not in our interest to open prematurely. Um, so whatever we're asked to do, we'll do. But yeah. we're, we're just asking to be supported as, as we do it. Um, it's, very, very, it's very, very hard in terms of mental health to go through this because... I mean, the, the most interesting thing that I heard even just this week, I mean, we have a number of customers who come in just, just for a conversation. They'll drink a cup of coffee. They'll have a, they'll have a Coke. They don't even drink. Right? Yeah. It's not that the pub isn't about alcohol for them. It's, a, it's about that social content, that social connection. Um, and, you know, they're really, really missing it. Um, and I think if, if, if you look just, just this week, I mean, we look at McAuliffe's, um, you know, in, in County Limerick. I mean, they closed. Like, they're the only pub in, in, the, in the village. Yeah. It's it's shocking, right? To see to see a publican, you know, sitting on TV and tears streaming down her face. I mean, your heart really goes out to her. And it's not it's not at the, it's not solely at the loss of her business. I mean, if you actually listen to what she said, you know, it's the community, it's the camaraderie. You know, where are these people going to go? Where are the guys going to go? Where are the girls going to go? Yeah. Um, and, and like, and that is the sense of community that's that's kind of within this trade. You know, and within what what has been called the wet house. Mm -hmm. I hate the term, but it, it's it's the non food serving pubs, the seven day ordinary pub, um, the pub that has been kind of I suppose used in all the tourism videos. The pub that's been used all over the world. It's probably the, the the brand that is that's selling Ireland at times. But uh, yeah, it's 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 exceptionally difficult. Exceptionally difficult. Well, I certainly hope that we start to see some support for you all because I know we all miss the pubs, we miss the crack, we miss the conversation, we miss the social aspect. And uh, all I say is thank you so much, Mike, for chatting to us in Pro Show. And hopefully it won't be too much longer. We'll be in here having a few pints. Excellent to have you here. Thank you very much.